Hi everyone, my name is Edward Amwakon and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Yes, if you are new to this channel, you are welcome to this amazing channel. And please, if you are old, thank you for always staying tuned. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you and guide you on how to design a very simple church flyer like this. Yes, beautiful flyer like this. And so, let me take you to Photoshop. This is my Photoshop and this is the flyer that I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you the resources, the fonts, the images and everything. It's very simple. All right. Very, very simple. And so let's start. You're welcome, guys. So for us to start this particular design, we need to first of all create our new document okay so if you are somebody who have been following me a lot shortcut is ctrl n so once you press on ctrl n this is your new document so this is where you set your size and this is for just social media so we are going for this particular size the width is 1080 the height is 1080 we are designing in pixels okay and then resolution is 300 rgb because we are not printing and then let's give it a name so we can give it like food flyer something or something because it's a church flyer and then when you are okay with the name you go ahead and create and once you create this is what you have and so i always say that i've divided my designs into four main parts the background the font the colors and then the images okay so first of all let's create the background okay good so this is the background that we are going to do don't worry i'm going to give you the color code so let's add a solid color or the adjustment layer this one once you click on you are going to get this we are looking for gradient click on gradient and we don't need this type of gradient color so click click on this white thing that you see and head on to this or you can choose any of these um, basics that you have and then change the color to yours so this is the color that i have i'm going to give you the colors okay so the first one all right is 1b002a 1b002a that is the first color code okay then you click on okay the second color code is this one you click on you come here color and this is it 9a01 a5 9a01 a5 once you put in this color code you are good to go okay right now we want the style to be on linear the angle to be 90 the scale 100 any other thing is okay go ahead and click okay so once your background is set the next one that you have to do is to have your white rectangle over here which you are going to write in your details you go in for your rectangular tool as usual or your shape tool you click on that is the rectangle that came the fill color make sure it is white if it is not white use this one to change the color to white okay and then you draw your rectangle very neat one over here which is going to have your for more info okay absolutely beautiful okay then the next thing is to bring my background okay so the background i will click on this gradient go to my resources don't worry i'm going to give you the resources that you will need okay good so i'm bringing in this particular smoke effect because it's a food flyer so i usually want to use this particular smoke effect all right bring it down double click and then set from the blend mode option which is the normal to um let me say screen okay yes so that i will take off the um, the black okay so while once i'm done with that i'll position it and then reduce the opacity because the smoke is too much reduce the opacity to somewhere 30 which is okay all right so something like this is not bad then the next thing that you can see from here is this particular food all right good so i'm going to give you that one too okay so let's go to desktop i have that particular image on my desktop so i have the image and i have the food here let's look for it 
okay so here is it then let me bring it over here and i'm going to expand this image all right bring it here somewhere something like this which is not bad and i'm going to change it to either multiply or luminosity anyhow you want to luminosity is okay and then reduce the size to something like this which is not bad then i'm going to rasterize it just to make sure i can edit it okay and then feed some part of leaving only the um this part yeah i think this is okay so i love this one i think the smoke effect i can reduce it a while so once you have it absolutely beautiful so we are going to create this particular shape because it is a food war cooking competition all right so we need something like food to depict what we have so you go and select your ellipse okay then you draw your shape all right or better still press on shift just to have a straight shape circle you draw it very beautiful bring it somewhere here and then press on control and play along with that of the shape okay yes you are going to play along with the shape so something like this which is okay make sure you press on, you press on shift okay then bring this particular fried rice down okay so that uh -huh. then what we are going to do is to copy this particular ellipse shape ctrl j to copy and then we are going to go to the down one which is not the copied one the one under the copied one double click and then we are going to change it to this particular color so this is the color code ffc600 ffc600 and then you press on ok and then you see it is not showing so you bring it down a little bit and once it is not showing you play along with it okay so you can just make sure here shows and then this one to shows a little bit so something like this which is absolutely beautiful for me no need to rush i mean there's no need for you to so something like this is okay so you double click to accept you double click on the first ellipse shape why because we are bringing in that particular food okay and then you go to desktop again bring this particular food drag it onto photoshop okay and then position it well so something like this which is not bad double click to accept then you create a clipping mask okay beautiful now i want the foot to show more so what i'll do is click on this ellipse click on the copied one as well and then bring it down okay so you bring it down a little bit so i think this is okay all right so just make sure that you um you can just aha uh -huh, make sure that it is you resize it so that the ones that you want if you want it to show like this this is okay so this is the first face you can just let's select the ellipse and then together with that of the fried rice okay and then group it i love grouping my uh, my work okay and then double click and save here image okay image why am i saving it why why am i grouping because grouping helps you to identify your work so easily then you can select the fried rice let me bring the rectangle down a little bit so let me select the fried rice let me select the um the smoke effect and then you can add the fill color group it ctrl j or ctrl gen yes ctrl gen to group you double click and then you can name here as background okay yeah background background ah yes very beautiful so i think that is it so this is the first phase the next thing that we are going to do is for us to bring in the the church logo the church name and any other text so let's do that one all right guys so let's start to bring in our text okay so the one thing that i want us to do is to reduce this smoke i think this smoke okay you let let leave it like that and bring this particular rectangle down a little bit okay let's let's bring it down okay so first thing let's lock this background for us not to be distracted so come to this lock 
once you select the background come to this lock and lock it okay then go for your text tool okay which is t on your keyboard and make sure that we are using only one particular font throughout okay so we are using gotham i'm going to give you the resources in the description so gotham and the gotham we are using the gotham black okay gotham black and make sure that when you are dealing with text you activate your character this one once you click on make sure that you use this and we are going to use caps capital letters so this is the name of the church okay so royal house okay royal house chapel international okay very beautiful church royal chapel international so the international for short then i write pedu um, assembly which is in cape coast okay so probably you can write cape coast you can add cape coast um, depending on the location that you are from okay cape coast so for simple and short and then you make sure that you have your size to be six which is not bad you bring it here or better still you can reduce it to five okay yes that is the name so let's activate our rulers so i want something to be like this then i want this to be here which is absolutely okay so let me bring it somewhere here okay good so let me bring this one here now this is to help us not to you know is to guide us especially the rulers then let me bring in this particular rectangle which is going which we are going to use it for our logo okay so the logo is going to be here all right then i want to curve the edges so let me go to the properties once you draw any shape the properties is going to pop up so let me curve it a little bit so something like this is okay so once i'm done go and select your move tool okay so on your shape tool or the rectangular tool go in for your resources and then you bring in your logo okay uh -huh. and then reduce the size bring it here let's zoom in okay so that we see whatever that we are doing absolutely beautiful so let's resize it and then position it well create a clipping mask and then here we go absolutely beautiful incredible and this is it so let's zoom out so i think this is okay and then let's group the the logo okay and then we can name it as logo if you want to group is control gen okay and then align it with the that of the name of the church absolutely beautiful we are going to copy the royal house ctrl j to copy bring it here and this is going to be our main test which is food war booking competition okay so that is it so it's going to be food everything is food war cooking okay then the competition will be down compi um competition okay competition all right so this is we are going to align it here i'm going to align yeah and i'm going to change the fonts from the regular to italic so let's come here and then let's type gotham and with the gotham we are using we have a lot of gotham black we have i mean even though with the gotham black italic but i want us to use gotham ultra italic i'm going to give you that particular font and then let me change it from to 18 okay bring it here don't please don't worry i'm going to um, change everything so let's do it and then i want us to double click this and then let's highlight the cooking and then we are changing the color now the reason why we are changing the color is because we want to pay much attention to that telling the reader that oh that is where we want to pay attention to and then let's close the gap a little bit okay and don't forget that there is a rectangle over here that i wrote get set cook okay so let's do that one too so let's go in for your rectangular too and then you draw your rectangle very nice one making sure that the rectangle matches with that of the text okay yes yes something so something like this is okay absolutely beautiful i love it 
and then you go and select the same text tool now you don't go ahead and write or start writing on the shape okay so this go here change the color and then let's pick that of the background color now we don't start typing on the shape directly you could see the text has changed to circle but when you bring it here it's just also changed so you type here so you write get set and then cook yeah then we are going to change from that of the ultra okay to probably gotham black okay these are the two fonts that we are going to use and then let me bring it somewhere here that means i have to resize the yes so let me resize it and then position everything so this is what you have which is good so once you are done with this i want us to group <laughs> yes so we select this select the rectangle and then align everything making sure that everything is okay and then select the food war cooking competition and then group it control gene all right and then this can be you can name it as heading okay yeah heading and then align everything control a to select everything and then align it which is okay it's already aligned so what is next so let's bring this one down so what is next for us to do is to bring in the date and then you can see the date is monday 6th march and then here we go okay so this is very simple what you have to do is let's bring this rectangle sorry let's bring this particular rectangle here okay or let's you can bring it on top of the yeah good and let's select the image or yeah select the image or we can let's copy the that of the royal house the church okay so press on alternate and then you bring it here and this is going to be the venue okay so good news center church auditorium close to cape um so this is going to be good news um center okay good news center um i wish to forward this place so that it can go fast okay good so once you are done typing so this is good news center church auditorium close to cape fm abra okay so you highlight everything then align it at the right okay good and then um i want us to highlight the close to then we are going to the character change from that of gotham black to you can just type it there gotham now this time around we don't want the gotham black we want just gotham and with the gotham you can select the book which is absolutely beautiful let's change the color and pick that of the yellow okay which is great for me so you can see yeah which is absolutely beautiful and here can be at okay yeah at and then let's position it here so this is going to be the location all right good let's bring this one down okay select this then this is going to be the time and then the date select your ellipse going to draw the ellipse and this is going to be the date all right and let's copy this and this is going to be the time so you can see all right so what we are going to do is that the copied one um we go to the same shape again all right then this time round we don't need the fill color let's take the fill away by clicking this red thing which we don't need but we need a stroke so the stroke we are using the same yellow color for that and then you can give the stroke as four let's leave it like that now you can see that the ellipse the copied one is on top of the white one so let's bring it down over here all right and you can see so you can see that the stroke is too much so let's go to the shape and let's reduce the stroke to um i think two which is okay for me i think so yeah two is okay and then let's bring it forward so that when we write the time it can be visible so let's select the two and align it and then bring it somewhere here, which is okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to copy this and then this 
we are going to change it to the date and the date is monday uh, probably you can just give it any date all right monday sixth of march something like that all right so let's i'll highlight by pressing with ctrl a and then make it center or something anyhow you want it so you can see from here okay anyhow you want it okay and then we don't want the black okay so you can change from gotham black to either bold yeah which is okay then bring it here making the white is not visible so change the color to that of the background color which can make it very more visible so you are not seeing that means that you could see the where the six matches is under the ellipse so bring it on top of all the ellipse so that you can see so let's copy it again and this is going to be the time okay so you can just make it your time but the time that i used was 12 um 12 what pm yeah 12 pm or 12 o'clock so 12 o'clock then the pm will be down okay and then let's change the color to that of the yellow okay so very simple very simple so which is okay so let me position it and then let's align the monday and that of the time let's sorry let's align everything here which is beautiful now the next thing that we are going to do is to select the time the date and the two ellipse okay and then we are going to group it and name this as um double click sorry let's double click this and then name this as dates and time okay and then let's align this together with that of the venue which is beautiful and then let's position it well like this so this is what you have you can just let's i think we can enlarge the venue because the venue looks too small so let's pick six very good which is i think is good for me i think this is okay so the next thing is for us to bring in the contact details and that of the phone number in social media handles that is it okay so this is just a learning purpose so what i'm going to do is to copy this venue okay um yes copy it and then change the color to black all of them to black and this is going to be our contact details. so what we are going to write is for more details or info that is what i wrote for more info um contact okay contact then you put in the telephone number there yeah okay so that is first thing then then the next thing is going to be um ah, the social media handle which is which i'm going to use the church name which is um royal house chapel goodness center okay royal um i think royal house chapel um goodness good news sorry center okay so this one we are going to use not the regular um the gotham black but rather um let's use a book okay and then what we are going to do is that we are going to delete that of the number or better still let's create that kind of space and then we are going to put in the social media icon there okay good so um i'm going to give you the social media icon i wrote c you can see that i have written c i'll give you the reason why i read the c let me zoom in okay so that i can see whatever that i'm doing then i'm going to change from this particular gotham black to the social media i'm going to give you the font social media font okay okay all right so let's change from the gotham to social okay 
so yes this particular font i'm going to give it to you so don't worry um vein is for the core and then let's copy this and then f is for facebook okay yeah so that means that the social media platform that they are going to stream live is facebook which is the royal house chapel international okay and then let's give it um we are i underlined it so yeah so this is it so we are going to get something like this okay which is good now i want to close the yeah let me close which is yeah this is okay so this is what i'm going to have absolutely beautiful i love it so what i'm going to do next is to yeah group this and then pick um this as well the f which is the social media platform select this group it as well and then now i have group one and group two we are going to align everything here okay and then press on ctrl a to align all of them which is good so ctrl o to just have something like this so you know this is what you have and this is our design which looks so amazing so i want to push this up a little bit okay yeah push this up a little bit so that yes it can be equal so this is it i think this this is okay this looks so beautiful and so nice you can enlarge the phone yeah can enlarge it okay so that here we go you have this and if you have this as your design i mean absolutely beautiful for now i want us to reduce the smoke effect over here so which is locked so we are going to open the background and reduce the smoke effect which is too much so let's reduce it to 10 yeah which is okay now on the background you could see there is this particular effect which looks like um carrot and that kind of the leaves okay good so let's do that which is very simple so i'm going to give you this or all, all the resources are going to be given to you okay so i have this particular this particular leaves okay so here is it okay now somebody will ask why am i using leaves this is because because the name depicts of you know that of the cooking so go to filter and let's go to blur and we are using go motion blur and we are going to play along it i think this is okay yeah so that is six the distance which is i think it's okay so let's reduce it and yeah let's position it here copy ctrl j bring some here ctrl j and then you can just spread them throughout which is okay all right so ctrl j let me bring this one to here and then i want us to bring in carrots so let me take my time you can use a green pepper you can use this pepper you can use the tomato so let's use the tomato okay which is going to make your work so neat okay and beautiful so with the tomato i'll double click and bring it up on top of this particular white yes so you can bring it here mm, which is okay then we are going to add that of the motion graphics to it or the motion blur which is okay so bring it somewhere here which is okay then one more thing that I like a side we are going to add the carrots okay so let's look for the carrot if you don't get the carrot so here is the carrot let's bring it to photoshop and the carrot has this white background which we are going to do that rasterize it and then go in for this particular tool we call it magic word tool select it click on that white background and then delete so you have taken the white background off then reduce the carrots and here we go let's leave it this way then we are going to add the same motion graphic go to filter and then add the motion graphic to it okay so let's reduce it and then you can rotate it rotate it to any size of your choice okay yeah i think i think this is okay yeah you can leave it this way if you want it yeah 
so once you are done i want us to close this all right let's close this and then if you like this particular work by this time i, I believe you really love it so what you have to do is go to file and then go to export export us and you know what we do go to jpeg change the format to jpeg good to excellent or great i always want the great then you save your work don't forget that we name it at food flyer so let's save it onto desktop let's go to desktop and then check our design so we named it as food flyer let's double click it and this is our work absolutely beautiful and i believe i've explained a lot and at this time if you really like this video please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to stay on this particular channel to learn um, a lot of photoshop tutorials like this and i believe you can inculcate and learn this use this as your church flyer designs anytime that you are looking for tutorials my name is edward amwakon bye